Hi, today I'm going to do a classic smoky eye. I've done quick smoky eyes before and colourful smoky eyes using cream shadows, like one cream shadow or all different colours. And today I'm just going to do a two colour classic smoky eye. So for this type of smoky eye, I'm going to use three products. I'm going to use a brownie taupe eyeshadow, and this can be any kind of brownie taupe. Also going to use a dark grey. I'm using the dark grey from this Benefit palette and um, I'm going to kind of mix those together and I'm also going to use a black pencil. So starting with the taupey brownie shade and a flat brush, I'm just going to pat that on all over my eyelid. So this isn't too dark to start with. This one's actually matte but you could use one that had a little bit of very low level shimmer in if you wanted to. But I wouldn't go too shimmery if you're going to do a really classic smoky eye. So I just patted it all over my eyelids and up to the socket line. It's kind of messy-ish, just slightly above the socket line. If you want to check if it's gone up high enough, just open your eyes and look straight ahead and you'll be able to still see a little bit of the brown shade there. So next I'm going to go in with the dark grey shade. I'm going to put it onto a 217 brush. So you want something nice and fluffy and then blend onto the back of your hand so that you don't have too much on your brush. You can always pick up later. And then start to add the dark grey into the socket line and onto the outer edge there, the outer corner. So you're going on top of the brown. And everyone's eye shape's different, so the best way to do this is to keep your eyes open, keep looking ahead. If your eyes are slightly different shapes, then again, keep looking ahead because you can check to see if they're looking similar. If your eyes are hooded, again, you'll need to have your eyes open. And then once you've got a good sort of positioning on it, then just start buff, buff, buffing away. And what makes a good smoky eye is a nice, big, fat, generous brush. So nothing smaller than a brush like this. And you can use even a bigger brush and just keep lots of circles and really, really buffing and softening those edges. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the dark to the outer corner so you can build up slowly. Now I'm going to use a completely clean Paula Dorf. This is a sheer crease brush. It's just a bit bigger and a bit fluffier than a 217. It's really good to keep a nice big brush that's clean, handy, and you can really go in and blend and smoke that all out. So next I'm going to use a black coal pencil. I'm going to use this all along my upper lash line and just hold a mirror really low down and look right down into it and feel it really in between the lashes. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to blend it in in a second anyway. Likewise underneath, you can do it as a series of dots. We're going to smoke that out too. And if you want to, you can go into your lower waterline as well depending on um, how big or small your eyes are. If you have very small eyes, just skip that step. And then using a mix of the brown and the dark grey shade, the taupey shade and the dark grey, I'm going to start to smudge in underneath. So just really smudging that coal in, smoking it out. I haven't done my concealer and my base yet, so it doesn't matter if it drops down because I'm going to clean it afterwards. And that's definitely the best way to do smoky eyes. Eyes first, skin later. Same on the top, really smoke that in. And then apply a nice thickening black mascara and you want to get right down to the roots of the lashes. You get loads of impact there. And curl them first if you need to. Put plenty of mascara on. Once you've done your mascara, you can clean up under your eyes. So just remove any of that gray and brown eyeshadow that's dropped down. So it's nice and clean. You can patch up your moisturizer and apply your base as normal. So I've done my base and concealer as usual, and I've also used a little bit of powder. Next, going back in with the light brown shade, well, hardly any actually, just a fraction of it on the brush. It's going to really, really smudge in underneath and you need to do this after you've concealed, otherwise you kind of have a, 
a definite line between where the smokiness finishes and the concealer starts. So we just want to really smudge that all in. You can use Q-tips, um, cotton buds if you like. And just smudge, 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 smudge. And then I'm just going to freshen up that line in the waterline. And it's fine if it gets a bit smudgy. If you want to use a waterproof pencil or a waterproof gel, you can. But I think you want it to look sort of perfectly imperfect. You don't want it to be absolutely, you know, no sensuality at all. I think with a smoky eye, you want it to be smudgy and a bit lived in a little bit. I think it just looks nicer, it looks sexier, it looks more modern. For brows with a smoky eye, I think the more natural they are, if they're quite light, leave them. It just looks a, a lot more modern. I've got a little bit of the brown and the grey that I've just used on my eyes. I'm just going to take that to fill in a little bit there, but more or less going to leave them soft. Now for the rest of your face you can do a couple of different things. I mean smoky eyes classically go with a nude lip. So I'm just going to apply this nice nude chubby stick. And for me I need to put a little touch of blusher on. I'm going to use a Benefit dandelion so it's not super bright. But I think um, I just look better with a little bit of colour in my face and most people do. Or you could just do a little bit of sculpting or something. Otherwise it can get a bit gothy, a bit stark. Which is another look, which is fine. Depends which look you're going for. And also it depends what it's for. I mean, you could wear smoky eyes during the day like this, as strong as this. If you just put less base on, less powder, less of a lip, you know, you can play everything else down. It looks really good. And for the evening, you can do what I've done, which is just a bit more base and powder and, you know, give it more of a polished feel. So that's a very classic smoky eye. Or you can go much more dramatic and evening with red lips and matching nails. I think a classic smoky eye works for everyone. Wear it however you want.